What's going on guys and gals? This is Sanitary103. Thank you for watching yet another video. So right here in my hands, I'm here to do a product review and this is called uh, Cliff Builders uh, Protein Bar. This is from the makers of Cliff Bar, which I'm sure you're familiar with. And um, I saw this at the grocery store the other day and I couldn't resist, you know, it has a lot more protein than the average Cliff Bar and I had to pick it up. So uh, right here, this is the chocolate peanut butter flavor right there. And this one is the chocolate mint flavor. Now, um, I'm gonna give you the nutritional information on these bars. These bars are pretty much identical, so I'm just gonna read it off one of these. So this one bar has uh, 270 calories. It has eight grams of fat, not much cholesterol, actually zero cholesterol, not much sodium, uh, 210 milligrams of potassium. It has a 26 net carbs, which is pretty low for a bar, and a whopping 20 grams of protein. So you're getting a near protein to carb ratio of one to one. That's pretty phenomenal. And the uh, same goes for the uh, chocolate mint flavor right here. Now, as far as the taste, it's um, pretty uh, tasty. It's pretty good, you know. I don't know if you guys have tried other protein bars, but I have, and the consistency of these protein bars like, I think there's one called Pro Max, cookies and cream flavor. Honestly, no offense to that company, but it tastes like doo doo. I, I don't like it. It's like really, like, kind of mushy. It's hard to, hard to describe, but you guys know what I'm talking about. But take my word for it. But the taste of this one, the Cliff Bar brand, they got it down pretty good. And if you look, uh, the size of it's about, you know, normal size of a candy bar. And speaking of a candy bar, the texture of it actually kind of resembles a candy bar. It's got like a little bit of crunchiness and uh, it tastes really good. So from a scale from one to 10 for taste, for being a protein bar, I give it a solid eight and a half or nine. Between the uh, chocolate mint and the uh, chocolate peanut butter, I kind of like the mint a little bit better, but that's just personal preference. They're both equally uh, pretty tasty. So overall, it's a really good product. I do recommend it. It's a really good snack to have, let's say in between a breakfast and lunch to keep you satiated. And or it's also good, like in my case, to use it as a pre-workout uh, food to have to give you that energy. Cause you definitely want a combination of protein and carbs before your workout, especially if it's really intense. And one last thing before I forget, this product has no trans fats. It has 23 essential vitamins and minerals, such as, I'll read you some. It's got some uh, soy protein isolate, and it has uh, some folic acid, so riboflavin, potassium, uh, copper, sodium selenate, etc., etc. Now, with this product, it's not 100% organic, but most of these bars are between 30 to 35% organic. So the quality of the ingredients are much superior compared to a lot of the other highly processed competitors. So uh, that's about it once again. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, comment down below if you have any questions and I'll see you guys next time, bye. Right here, the DS Craze. This is a very popular pre-workout supplement. It recently got banned on bodybuilding.com. Um, this all started in Australia, I believe, over a year ago. Some guy tested positive for amphetamines, trace amounts of amphetamines, and then recently...